Hey everyone, it's Free Tip Friday. It's Todd. I'm running solo today. And what we're going to talk about is how far you actually hit the ball. Inevitably, when people come in and they hit with TrackMan for the first time, they're usually somewhat shocked. They think they hit the ball a little bit farther than what they do. And most people have the idea of how far they hit the ball, and that's their, their best shot. They'll think, well, I hit my best shot. I hit it 170 yards. So that's, what, uh, that's how far I hit it. And in reality, that's probably not an accurate way of kind of looking at it. And that type of perception of how far you hit it is probably actually hurting your score. So for instance, I just hit nine shots with my seven iron. And you can see like the last shot there that I hit was 170 yards. And if you look at my pattern here, you'll see, right, there's one, two, three, four shots that are pretty good at 170, one a little longer than that. Then we got one about 165. We actually have a couple here at even under 160. So if you ask me how far I hit my seven iron, I'd probably say, yeah, I can hit it 170 yards. But if I'm playing golf and I'm going in with that mindset, well, depending on where the pin is, that can create a lot of problems. For instance, let's say this circle is to showing my distribution pattern. Let's say that's the green. And let's say where this ball here is, is actually the flag stick and I'm 170 yards away. Well, if I was to move this pattern and shift it to where Again, my average here 170, if I was to move that to there, you would see most of my shots here would be coming up short of the green and putting me in trouble. And so that type of mentality is really going to probably end up costing you strokes if you're always just kind of planning for your best shot. You'll see here like the, the track man gives me 166 as my average plus or minus five yards. And so in reality, I should be kind of thinking more of I hit a seven iron 165 plus or minus five yards so that when I come to a pin like this that's 170 away, instead of pulling my seven iron and bringing in all this trouble, maybe I hit, I hit six and hit it more towards the middle of the green. The more greens that you hit, you should be able to shoot lower scores. And so having a realistic expectation of how far you hit the ball goes to that first kind of principle of again, hitting as many greens as possible. So how do you figure out how far you hit the ball? Well, you can schedule a track man session with me. We can go through all your clubs and kind of see how far you hit each one and come up with a good gapping. Or you can simply go out onto the golf course uh, or onto the range and hit five shots and then kind of take the, the measurement of maybe the third one back to like towards where from you were hitting. Use your range finder, kind of leave your bag there and shoot back. Or again, if you're on the course, you can hit three shots to the flag stick that you know how far it is and then walk up and then kind of see you know where those golf balls are in relation to that flag stick if it's five yards short or, or to that type of effect so there's plenty of ways to be able to accurately figure out your art your yardage but don't go with always assuming you're going to hit your best shot we'll see you next week